Hey crew fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. It's our pleasure to bring you a restaurants, bars and cafe tour of the lovely Explorer of the Seas. Enjoy. There is the beautiful Explorer of the Seas. I thought I would share with you the Windjammer restaurant and the morning breakfast service. Good morning, it's uh, early morning. Here we are on deck 11 and it's the Windjammer. And we'll just take you through uh, for a, uh, a quick tour. Uh, it's very early morning, so they might not have many customers in this morning yet, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a little look around, give you a quick a quick show. A few early risers here this morning. Lovely bar and coffee bar here. So uh, if you need an early morning coffee, this is where you come. And the fellas will sort you out. So, morning breakfast area. Lots and lots to choose from. You get some nice, some nice fresh uh, fruit every day. And it's a traditional English breakfast so that you can see the standard items of sausages and bacon and hash browns and beans and eggs and toast and all of the classic stuff. You can also get yourself some pancakes and various forms of bread and of course lots and lots of pastries on board so plenty uh, to choose from. So well, if not, not many people in at the moment, but uh, as you can see, this will get very, very busy uh, later on this morning with everybody getting up. Um, tea and uh, coffee always available on tap. And of course, around here, they have a bit of a fruit station where you can pick up your fruit and breakfast items. You can also pick up your cereals and a number of milk options for those who are and choose you on their milk and uh, lactose intolerant. And of course, a nice selection of milks and yogurts and drinks. Yeah, and uh, also, of course, uh, coffees and teas on tap, which the guys will come and uh, give you. They also do a very nice variety of uh, different flavored teas as well, which is quite nice. And uh, up the back, of the wind jammer this morning it's the same so there's three typically three areas where you can get the variety of uh, goods that you're looking for so it's pretty much a repeat of all the the breakfast items that you've just seen and also a very nice egg station here so chef will do morning chef chef will do you some eggs some omelettes or some poached eggs if you want it and some carved meats and again as you go around be able to see all of the traditional breakfast items and a nice large open area here in the back uh, with plenty of seating and that wraps around the entire of the rear end of the ship so again a variety of different muesli and other items so that's quite good plenty of uh, breakfast cereal Morning chef, how are you? And uh, again, on the bar around the back, again, cold meat selection. You can also get a very nice eggs benedict here. And, and then the pastry station. So plenty of different pastries to choose from. Morning. 
and uh, this young man will toast you whatever you like bagels toast english muffins you name it he'll do it and there's feet for the sweet tooth there's also some uh, donuts etc and then again uh, uh, fruit area now this also does go into a third area the door of course is locked at the moment because it's not very busy so so that's the wind jammer that's the breakfast service i hope that's been useful and uh, we'll see you again in a little while and uh, here's the sapphire lounge on deck five it's obviously not set up yet for breakfast i think the guys will be in in a little while but uh, uh lovely dining room as you can see and if we look over here you can see that it uh, spreads over floors three four and five and if you can see down there the guys are setting up for breakfast. It's actually early morning at the moment, it's just before six. So, uh, so there you are. Lovely shop. So one of the nice lounges on board, very pleasant here, nice and comfortable, you can get yourself a, a nice drink when it's open, it's early morning so uh, things are actually closed down. And uh, here's the uh, very very popular place on the, uh, on the Royal Promenade, yes it's the Crown and Kettle pub and uh, you get some great beers from around the world. Uh, in there. Uh, it's an English theme pub which is uh, all very good and uh, some great English beers in there so that's quite a nice place to be uh, during the day or in fact at any time uh, during the day or night. So uh, here we go for those people that can't sleep at night uh, here's Cafe Promenade and uh, it's open 24 hours a day of course there aren't people in there at the moment because it's still uh, quite early but uh, I shall be going in there in a minute and enjoying a nice cup of Earl Grey so, so if you if you uh, can't sleep and you and you're hungry then uh, this is the place to go Here's the exit to the Star Bar and the Connoisseur Club for smokers and the exit back on to Deck 5. So one of the other nice benefits on board is actually when you come to the various restaurants in most of the restaurants you can see along the bottom there the different types of restaurants that we have so Chops Grill, Giovanni's, Izumi, Johnny Rockets and the Sapphire Dining Room and at any time you can go in and take a look at what's on the menu. Here's Chops Grill for lunch, Giovanni's also will be for lunch and if you want to go into Izumi you can go into Izumi. What's going on at Johnny Rockets? So uh, some really nice uh, some really nice information that's uh, set up for you in the various screens. Uh, yeah, all very helpful to help you decide which uh, restaurant you'd like to go to some paid some unpaid of course and uh, very very helpful information guides around the ship so 
Here now on deck four, and the first uh, restaurant that we'll come to now is Giovanni's, Giovanni's Table, which is uh, an Italian themed restaurant. And uh, very nice uh, menu in there. And um, you know, Italian home style cooking, excellent. Some fantastic steaks in there, and some beautiful pasta. So that's Giovanni's. If you like Giovanni's, if you like Italian food, this is the place to go. So here we are at Giovanni's, our starter of tuna and green lip mussels in a wine sauce. Right, Mrs. H? So still on uh, Floor four. This is the Schuna Bar, the Schooner Bar, just opposite uh, Giovanni's. Uh, nice bar, bit of a nautical theme, and the guys seem to have the blowers on over there. So I hope that's not too uh, noisy. Um, get musicians in here. They do the odd uh, uh, piano uh, session in the evenings, which is all very nice. Nice little bar to come to. Uh, and it's just uh, on the exit to the casino. And uh, out of Giovanni's, out of the casino, uh, a really nice uh, art area over there. If you're into your art, then uh, uh, there's a nice uh, place for you to be. And on the right hand side here is the tavern, another uh, great little bar. Usually has uh, football or sport on the TV, some widescreen TVs at the front and the back but a uh, nice little bar area all set up in the evening and uh, uh, a great, another great place to, uh, to come. So here we are day three, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. And that is a freaking ribeye. Check that out. And Mrs. Harris, how are you enjoying your dinner, Mrs. Harris? Fine, thank uh, you. Wow. So, deck 14. It's the Viking Crown Lounge. And it's actually also the Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle area for uh, the loyal guests of Royal Caribbean International. It's quite a nice little setup actually. Nice bar there, plenty of seating around. A nice stage area for discos and uh, music and entertainment and karaoke. And uh, a very nice area and uh, a very nice view of the ship from the Viking Crown Lounge. And uh, the Diamond Lounge, a further little extension onto the side of the Viking Crown Lounge. The guys are in here uh, doing a bit of a setup at the moment, but uh, they do a very nice buffet over here on the right hand side for breakfast and some nice seating. Uh, and you can also come here and speak with the, the concierge and the loyalty ambassador. That's their working area there with various pieces of information relative to what's going on on board, restaurants, etc. And if you need them to make any arrangements for you, 
any bookings that they'll do that there. Yeah, all in all, uh, quite a nice, yeah, very nice coffee from here as well. And uh, back out into the Viking Crown Lounge. There's the bar. And there's Izumi and Japanese and Teppanyaki. So in Johnny Rockets, if you fancy something different, you know, you can get some burgers and hot dogs and fries and onion rings and uh, thick milkshakes and uh, soda fountain. Yeah, it makes uh, a really nice change at about seven bucks per person. on the stairwells. So here we are in the Windjammer, it's day 14, and the guys are just setting up for the lunch service. So there's all manner of uh, tasty treats that await you if you have your dinner in the Windjammer. So this is the lunch service, uh, and a variety of different steamed vegetables and uh, items, some nice cold salad, uh, pastas, Waldorf salad, etc. And uh, and uh, to go around here, various breads and cheeses and meats, some uh, very naughty pork pies and uh, scotch eggs, if you like that sort of thing, some lovely salad. Morning, Chef. Good morning, how are you doing? Very well, sir. Very well. Yep. So here we are, some nice uh, tasty salads and, uh, and bread and pasta and pizza and treacle sponge and custard and wraps and cold meats and tuna and more sandwiches and uh, some very nice uh, fries and hot vegetable items zucchini and stuff some classic sausages and Cumberland sausages and the uh, usual burgers and cheeseburgers and salad items to uh, uh, help go with them and some nice salads some pork schnitzel chicken tikka masala chicken cassiatori some nice uh, some carved beef mashed potatoes and various vegetable items minced beef and onion pie Oh, some very nice tempura fried fish and bread and some lovely salad items there as well and if you'd like some soup soup today is chicken broth with tortellini or seafood chowder and some very nice desserts they've done a great job of uh, setting up today for the lunchtime uh, service there are lots and lots of lovely things to to appeal.
Very nice. Into the evening and here's the Royal Promenade. Uh, resplendent in its lovely blue attire. Lots of people down here in the uh, in the cafe doing a little bit of late night shopping and uh, also taking a look along the promenade and uh, frequenting the bar. So good evening cruise fans, it's Ray and Sue's Travel Channel here. It's a formal night as you may have gathered from the attire. Uh, we're just going to pop down to dinner in a second and uh, uh, get through the dilemma of whether we want lobster or fillet steak or both. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video so far. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'll see you in the next uh, uh, part of this uh, cruise vlog. And uh, so stay tuned and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel and we've just had a wonderful dinner served by an outstanding team and uh, I've got a couple of guys to say hello to you. Hi, good evening. I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Arturo. And we are from, from the Philippines. Philippines. And we are, we are uh, part, part of, of the restaurant, restaurant team. team. Come and join us and uh, have a great cruise with the Royal Caribbean. Uh, we hope the... Uh, tour around the cruise ship was uh, of interest to you and um, we'll be interspersing some of this footage into the rest of the videos for the rest of this cruise but uh, stay tuned hope that was useful and if you'd like to see more of the wonderful explorer of the seas then please take a look at the whole series of video vlogs that we have posted on this channel so take care thanks for listening thanks for watching and we'll see you soon bye bye